Hey everyone, it's Anna back with another adorable fall swag kit for the 2021 season. I hope you're going to come out and see us for the fall festival coming up on September 11th and head on over to shopdeesloisville.com and grab yourself this adorable sunflower harlequin pumpkin swag kit. You've seen us make swag kits all seasons for a long time. We just take two really pretty stems, put them together, add a little ribbon, and they're so easy to twist on everything. You can do a lantern, you can do a boxwood like I'm going to do here, but I fell in love with this pick when it came in with the little Harlequin pumpkins or velvet, and then they have the little bit of black and white on there too. So I'm going to pair that with the pretty sunflowers, add a little ribbon and attach it. If you are looking for a wreath though, this does come as a wreath kit with the sunflower. So if you don't want a swag kit, you want like a grapevine wreath kit, head on over to shopdeesloval.com and you can grab that as well so we're gonna do this like we always do this sunflower stem is nice and full and pretty chop off the stem bring a little bit towards the bottom and then every stem on this guy is wired so you're just gonna take a little bit of time and fluff it out so pretty it's got a nice mix it's got berries it's got grass it's got pom-poms same thing over here you can't really fluff this pumpkin stem but you can chop off the bottom a little bit lay it right on top of that and then set it off to the side. We're gonna do our ribbon next. So for this one, of course, you know, I had to go with this pumpkin ribbon that matches it so well. We're just gonna make a couple loops of that. And then right on top of that, we're gonna take the black and white check. It's kind of at a diagonal though, so it gives you that like Harlequin feel. We're gonna take that right on top and make a couple loops of that as well. Same way we've always done them. If you've watched me make a swag kit before, you guys know how to make these. And they're perfect, again, to twist onto so many things. You can even lay them on a mantle. Tie that bow off with your cloth-covered wire and then just simply twist it onto your two stems. I'm going right in above the big sunflower at the bottom and below the pumpkins. Twist it on, and now you're ready to attach it to your wreath. This wreath I'm using is the 18 inch tea leaf boxwood. There are a few of them still available on the website and they make a great base for so many seasons, especially like the off seasons, you know, like January, winter time, and then summer. Add a simple bow to them, they look really nice. All I'm doing is taking a little bit more time to fluff everything out and then I'm gonna trim up my tails and you have an adorable little addition to your boxwood wreath. And again, if you want a bigger wreath, a little bit more showy, you can head on over to shopdeesloval.com. This is available as a wreath kit as well, but go on over there and get yourself a Sunflower Harlequin Swag Kit. 